This is an instructional video for the SKF shaft alignment tool, TMEA2, the alignment tool that's quick, easy and affordable. TMEA2 includes two measuring units with magnetic brackets, a display unit, a set of locking chains, a measuring tape, a set of shims and the alignment report to document the results. Attach the S unit with the magnetic bracket onto the shaft against the coupling of the stationary machine. In this case the stationary machine is a pump. Then attach the M unit to the movable machine, usually the motor. The stainless steel shafts offer a stronger attachment used for chains. Connect the S cable to the S port and the M cable to the M port of the display unit. Switch the display on and adjust the laser lines so they hit the opposite measuring unit in the center of the detector. Move the measuring units and adjust the laser line in height by using the wheel for fine vertical adjustment. Measure the machine dimensions. First measure the A distance which represents the distance between the center line of both the measuring unit brackets. Enter the distance in the display unit by pressing the plus or minus button and confirm by pressing the next button. Then measure the B distance, which is the distance between the M measuring unit bracket and the front feet of the movable machine. You can use the chain to measure the B distance easier. Again, enter the values and confirm. Lastly, measure the C distance, which is the distance between the centre of the bolts from the front and rear feet. Enter the value and continue by pressing the next button. When the clock starts blinking at the 9 o'clock position, rotate the shaft to 9 o'clock by using the spirit level. Always establish the 9 o'clock position by looking from behind the movable machine and move the shaft either by holding the shaft or the coupling, never by holding and rotating the measuring units. Then press the next button. The clock now starts blinking at 3 o'clock. Rotate the shaft at the 3 o'clock position by using the spirit levels. Press the next button to confirm the measurement. The system then calculates the misalignment of the motor in the horizontal position. The display shows the coupling values as well as the feet values. Move the shaft or coupling back to the 12 o'clock position and look at the values in the vertical position. The misalignment in the vertical position shows an angular misalignment of 0 and a parallel misalignment of 0.28mm. Then confirm the speed of the motor and look at the tolerance table and the instructions for use. Compare the misalignment tolerance with the actual misalignment and align the motor in the vertical position when the value is out of tolerance. In this case the motor is out of tolerance and we must increase the front feet with 0.27mm and the rear feet with 026 To align the machine in the vertical position, untighten all four motor bolts. Choose the closest shim size that matches the feet values on the display. Lift the machine and position the shims under the front feet of the machine. Make sure there is no dirt between the shims and the plinth and the shims and the feet of the machine. On the display you can follow the real time values of the feet. Then position the shims under both rear feet. Check that the angular and parallel misalignment in the vertical plane are within tolerance. Turn the shaft to the 3 o'clock position for the horizontal alignment phase. The alignment values are out of tolerance. In this case the motor needs to be moved sideways. Move the motor sideways and reposition the motor according to the feet values on the screen. Try to get the feet values as close as possible to zero and determine if the angular and parallel misalignment are within tolerance. Then tighten the motor support bolts. 